Succinethonium. Succinethonium is formed by two acetylcholine molecules joined by an acetyl group. It's got a range of uses, rapid sequence induction, short surgical procedures which require intubation, obesity, where there's concerns of intubation and ventilation, and ECT. Clear colour solution, given IV, 100% bioavailability. It's a depolarising, non-competitive agonist at the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. Dose varies by age. Kids, IV dose, 2 mg per kilogram. Adult IV dose, 1 mg per kilogram. The IM dose is the same, 4 mg per kilogram. Onset, within 45 seconds, this will be visible with fasciculations. Recovery starts at 3 minutes, is completed by 15 minutes. The distribution is not fully understood. The metabolic pathway is the minor pathway, unchanged in the urine, 10%. The major pathway, by plasma cholinesterases. Acetylcholine diffuses out of the synaptic cleft and in to the plasma. It is therefore broken down to succinic acetylcholine. This is why it has a longer duration of action than acetylcholine itself. Elimination by lineurin and there's a range of contraindications. C-spine injuries, burns, succinethonine apnea, MH and muscular disorders. There are seven key side effects associated with succinethonium. Most common is myalgia due to muscular fasciculations, bradycardia due to the molecule binding to muscarinic acetylcholine receptors in the heart, hyperkalemia by 0.5 millimoles. Receptor activation results in exchange of sodium potassium causing elevated levels of potassium. Increase in pressure in the eye, in the stomach, in the head. This is important for patients with injuries, i.e. raised ICP, ocular injuries. Sucks apnea, prolonged block. This can be inherited or acquired. This will be discussed next. Anaphylaxis, mast cell degranulation. MH is due to reanidine receptor pathologies. Succinethonium apnea is characterized by pathology in plasma cholinesterase, the enzyme responsible for metabolism of succinethonium, and therefore the succinethonium persists for longer and the patient experiences prolonged block. The patient would require prolonged intubation. It can be inherited or acquired. Acquired results in a reduced amount of enzyme. This is due to failure, liver, renal, cardiac, pregnancy and hypothyroidism, or it could be inherited. So the correct amount but reduced activity of enzyme. It's autosomal recessive condition on chromosome 3 and there's a range of different phenotypes. The abnormal genes include atypical silent fluoride. The amount of activity is quantified by the dibuchane number. Dibuchane is a local anesthetic. It's an inhibitor, so you add the inhibitor to the enzyme and the amount of inhibition relates to the duration of action. So if you have significant in inhibition, this results in severe disease and the patient will have a prolonged apnea following exposure to succinethonium.